Hey, hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Hashtasha, and my nose is a crosshair here on the time zone server. We are still at the Penta Cave Spider spawn here, and we set this up last episode, and it's perfectly fine, it works. However, you cannot enchant anything here because there's no enchanting table, there's no anvil. And I want to set that up today. <laughs> Namiku hides <laughs> for some reason. But before I set up an enchanting table, which will probably be like right here, like on this side, so you can enchant stuff and get the XP and enchant new stuff like in a row when you kill 500 of these. Um, yeah. Before I do that, I want to set up like an auto brewer for harming potions. And I got the perfect setup for that, to be honest. <laughs> built it a long time ago, or designed it a long time ago, but never actually built it anywhere. Because I didn't use it. I call it the on demand lazy portion auto brewer. And it's a little bit different from other auto brewers in that it doesn't brew portions over and over again. It only brews portions when you take out the last. Um, but it's also a lot cheaper to build. So for that, we need a brewing stand. And from that, we will take a compiler output to check when it's empty. And that will go into a torch. And that will go into a monostable circuit. Um, I might want to put this one block back, I think. I think. So <laughs> let's try again. Okay, um, brewing stand. This thing, probably don't need my X can put blocks there. Goes into block, goes into a torch, goes into a fancy monostable circuit. Which is just a dropper and hopper combination. But this way it only takes like two blocks here. And we want a wooden sword in there or something else that doesn't stack. And that will go into another comparator. And that doesn't go there. Um, one sec. I kind of got a dry mouth syndrome <laughs> today. Um, we want to hop on top of that. Can we do that? Like so. Yeah. And it's a dropper, not a hopper. Wait, it's a hopper, it's not a dropper. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, and then we need four ingredients for splash portions of harming. So we need uh, one dropper. That's totally not the right direction. Give it back to me. And I'm I'm getting micro stuttering here. I need to I need to quickly kill these <laughs> because it's too many. And I I won't get the XP from them. I will just kill them by doing this one more time. So they will just die. Okay, we have one there, then um, we probably want one like so. No! Face me! I guess we need to go up one block. Okay, that's uh, two. Then we need number three. And number four we can actually put fit in here, I guess. Okay, these will house our ingredients. Then we somehow need to power all of them. Can we do that? Yeah, by just having a block here with a piece of redstone on top. Which I hopefully can place. Okay, so now when we put our ingredients in here, and I'm just putting these randomly because I don't know in which order we need to put them. Because it's depending on the direction and stuff. So now when you take out the last portion, which we will emulate by taking out this, it dispenses all the next ingredients. And it did a spider eye first. So this needs to go where the spider eye is. Um, what 
did it do then? Then spider eyes needs to go where fermented spider eyes are. Right? Gunpowder is fine, so fermented spider eyes go into here, I think. So let's take all of this junk out and test it again. Okay, nether ward, spider eye, fermented spider eye, gunpowder. That's perfect. So now we also need to fill it up with water bottles. Mm. For which I think we need two hoppers. And the way I plan to do it is like so. But I'm pretty sure this doesn't work. Um, but we probably can test it. Can you put empty water bottles in here? Yes, you can. Okay, by having one, two, three here. And now let's empty this. We take out the last portion for beer because there will be no ingredients. Yeah, it only puts two water bottles in. We need another hopper for that. I think. <laughs> At least that's how I originally set it up. But originally, the way I set it up, I had like um, another dropper here. For some reason, I, I had to use two hoppers here. But it doesn't really matter. It's like five iron. So, we want to do it like this. And have two repeaters here. And that should put in three water bottles. So let's quickly test that. We'll have enough in here. There will be a chest on top of this. And let's empty this. So when we take our last bottle out... One, two, three. Yeah, this is perfect. Okay, now... Um, we kind of want water to, to fill it up. We'll put that here for now. Because I just want to test this. So we make a couple of these. Put them into the chest. And that should be enough already. Um, we need one, one water bottle in here to kickstart it. But it should be in there forever. So now we take the last portion out. One, two, three water bottles. There's still one water bottle in here. And this will now brew a splash portion of farming. Or it should. Okay, it's done any second now. So what you will do when you wait here on the farm? And let's let's let this fill up. You will take one portion out of here, throw it into there, and go on and go on. And when you take the last out of it, um, it will slowly brew new potions. But the speed doesn't really matter because um, by the time you you've thrown this into there and got all the XP, it will be finished anyways. And uh, now I fell down. Which is terrible because there's hundreds of entities there now. So yeah. That's our portion auto brewer. Then we obviously want some water in here to quickly refill the water bottles. Um, and build a wall around this <laughs> somehow. So, um... Let me let me do some off-camera work here and I uh, will see you in a sec with some progress. Alright, we are pretty much done here, so let me show you the place. You enter through this nether portal, which isn't hooked up yet. The room opens up a little bit. To the left you have your all-purpose uh, incinerator for all your extra sting. And spider eyes, because you don't want that stuff, you get a ton of it here. To the right you can refill the water bottles, put them into this chest. Then we have our auto-brewing stand here. 
Then here we have an indicator light. This tells us the hatch is closed. We want to open that. However, you want to have a close when you leave here. Because when the chunks reload and spiders are up here, they will escape. And you will have 400 spiders in this room. It's no fun. I tell you. <laughs> I experienced it t two times already. Okay, back here, enchanting table. And a chest, crafting table and anvil. And up there, ugly purple color. Man, this purple, it looked so good in my fantasy, but didn't work out in the end here. Yeah, another chest for rubbish, I guess. Get lost. Um, maybe extra water bottles, but right now this is for... Um, I guess I will put a guide in here. I wanted to put a guide in here. So I will get that ready. I also need to put signs here, so we need a written book and two signs. Let me get that really quick. Y you cannot go through this, you have to end up <laughs> for some reason. Pretty sure because you stand on the end of the chest. Book and quill and two signs. Alright. Um, other than that, uh, it's working pretty good already. So let me AFK for a little bit, because I just killed 500 spiders. But we are up to 390 entities again. It's magic! <laughs> the Penta Spawner. I will AFK here for a bit and we will do a big enchanting... Um, like montage. And while I wait I will probably put the signs there and write the book. So, I will see you in a sec or something. No! Enchanting montage, begin now! And this might crash the server. I don't know. It will spawn a couple of entities for the XP. Oh, that's, that's not too bad. Okay, here we go. What is it? Sharpness 3. Uh, okay, number 2. Four, four, four. Efficiency 3 again. Oh, what am I going to get? Efficiency 4, that's pretty good. Oh, it's over. We only got 4. We didn't even really get 4. Because I was at 25 when I started. But oh, we can wait for a second here and do it again. <laughs> I only AFK'd for about 12 to 15 minutes. So that's fine. And I didn't really AFK, I, I wrote the book. Which I can actually show you really quick. Um, let's get away from the portal because it's going to be annoying. Nemiku and Hashish Treasure proudly present the Pentarachnophamia. That's a nice name, kind of. <laughs> How to use, open the edge, stand on the middle of the verse, don't slap. Wait for spiders, press the crush spider button. 5 pro potion, 6, 7 profit. Additional notes, potions refill as soon as you take the last one out of the brewing stand. If you break the anvil, please replace it right away. Don't overdo it, it takes roughly 3.5 minutes to get to level 30 with this farm. After you kill the last spiders, right before you leave, do not open the hatch. Under no circumstance you should do that. Spiders will escape otherwise when the chunks are reloaded. It's no fun, I tell you. <laughs> if you do this anyways, you will be very sorry. I will probably uh, do bad things to people who do this. Anyways, let's uh, continue here. Hmm, same amount of spiders as before. But it doesn't lag this time, because we have particles off. <laughs> well, now it lags, but um, before it didn't really lag. Wait, 26? I didn't want to do that. Okay, we get about a thousand this time. So let's see what this does. And we will do a level 26 enchants here, because you can get better stuff on books from the rich. Except for a sick touch, the charge for that is not really high at 26.
Okay, this will probably be my last patch, because how interesting can you make enchanting books over and over? <laughs> I can't make it very interesting. And this is how it sounds when you have mob sounds on. Anyways, we are going to leave here and hook up the portal. That's the last thing we need to do. Maybe it's already hooked up. We will see. Nope, it's not hooked up. So we'll just punch out this. And actually, we we should have haste too here, right? We can take all of this obsidian. And then we are pretty much done. Well, I obviously need to take all my stuff back <laughs> that I left there. Which is a, a good amount of stuff. Oh, come on. I'm, I'm not in ghost mode. I am in ghost mode. Alright, we are back at spawn. I picked up most of the important stuff that I really want. Like glass, or gold, or iron, or redstone. Fun stuff. We will make a little gift here to Nemiku. All the books I don't want, we will give to him. Because he has a bookstore. And he also found, like, the thing. Yes, my box is still active. Found the Penta Spawner. And without him, these last two episodes wouldn't have been possible. <laughs> um, but now that we are here, we will check out some books. Check if he has any good books we want to buy. Um, power, 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 sharpness. Mm. Not really anything good here. M thorns three I might buy. I will actually buy that. I like Thorn. It's a, it's good in the death games. Two diamonds. That's a lot. And one iron ingot, right? Okay. What else do you have? Like of the C2, I would like three. Or two to combine that, but I'm not going to buy, pay a diamond for that. Um, not really anything I want. Ooh, looting three and sharpness. Only sharpness three, though. Three diamonds? What? One diamond, two box. This might be good. It's only junk. Although I like uh, Punch too. Is there anything else that is remotely good in here? Doesn't look like it. Oh, Luck of the C2. Mm, we are doing this. That's one more diamond. Pretty sure Nemico is the richest guy on the server now. And did I look through these? Yeah. And we bought three books, we can take three free books. Hmm. That's all pretty much junk. Although I like Aqua Affinity and Respiration, we might take these. Yeah, we will take um two respiration two and one of the aqua affinity ones. All right. Then it might be it for this episode, although we can have a little look around spawn. Because I haven't checked out stuff yet really. And um, this is by Jinji. It's supposed to be the town hall. There's absolutely nothing in here, though, except for a map, for some reason.
Hmm. So this is how spawn looks. It might not be uh, completely updated yet. <laughs> then I think uh, the chapel here finished, which is a church and not a chapel. Aha! So this is where a funeral will be. Where's, where's the organ? You cannot have a church without an organ. Maybe it's up here? It's unlikely. <laughs> well, these towers are really high, right? Okay, so that's the church. Town hall looks like ass from the top, by the way. Then <laughs> this is new, I haven't seen this. There's a hopper here and uh and stuff. With the repeater locking. Mm. There's nothing in here. Hmm. So this stuff might do stuff. There's a cobweb here. Which I'm pretty sure Pezzy has stolen from me. But yeah, it doesn't seem to be finished. So let's go on further. Home Depot is finished. It's uh, not really a shop, but a place where you can get any block that is used at spawn. And do stuff with it. Like repair creeper walls or something. Let me go with this. It's supposed to be a modern house, I think. Mm, I don't li really like the, the quartziness and blockiness of it. It's uh, like blocky. Pretty sure this isn't finished. But Mega's working on this. Should be a cave game or something. Fun! House of Fun. Welcome, people of Time Zone. Go to the next page for a fun time. Here, there's also fun. We only accept the best kind of fun. I wanted to make a video, but it wasn't fun. Well, now it can be. Ever wanted a fun time? Whichever way you take it, you take that, I'm here for you. Uh, Colin P. Dot. Uh, thing that I don't remember the name of. Well, now it can be fun. Next page. For one diamond, you get one hour of fun. Should I put a diamond in here? Sample only. Name, length of fun. What fun are we doing? Aha. Uh -huh. How about the fun of sorting all the chests in my uh, base? And I'm not doing anything, I'm watching. That might actually be good. Do I have an ender? No. I don't have an ender chest on me. Is there an ender chest here? Maybe in this house? Which I think is Eldron's house. Doesn't seem to be finished. Ender chest. Nope. Only chests. Then... I think Salty built this. Temp base. Time zone army base. Oh. Temp time zone army base. Ooh, scary. I'm nothing in here, really. Like a really weird uh, workbench chandelier. What's down here? Salty's nano farm. That uh, looks uh, surprisingly like my nano farm. Do I have stick touch on me? Yeah. I don't really want to look at this. I might break stuff. Hey, this is exactly my nano farm. <laughs> you just copied it. 
It's 100% how I place the blocks in my farm. Hmm. Except I don't call it a nano farm because it's not nano. It's a, a no clock lock update detector farm. Okay, then we got Paul's house. Aha, not very fancy in here. Also nothing to see. Just uh, a house. With uh, interiors. That are not there, because there were no interiors, alright? <laughs> Maybe like one furnace and one workbench. Okay. Um, anything else that I did miss? Oh, we got this. Uh, TZF. <laughs> Next to the TZP. Um, it looks pretty similar. I'm pretty sure it's uh, the same building mirrored. But I think it's supposed to be a fire department. Have I mentioned this yet? Pretty sure I haven't. But yeah, um, can also take a look inside. I always forget the button is there. I cannot see it. Like you have water buckets in here. That's the fire department. Doesn't really look finished. More water buckets. Um, that doesn't seem like stuff the fire department needs. I might take that. No, it's only junk. Okay, that seems to be about. Oh yeah, <laughs> the main thing why I wanted to come here at spawn and record stuff. Um, this is a floor plan. Or the auction house that I want to build with Nemiku. And he said I should take a look at this. Yeah, that looks fine. Like the auction room will be over there, I suppose. That uh, wasn't very good. We'll tower up again. <laughs> ah. Come on. Okay, so someone stands there and says, Wow, blah blah blah, we are standing blah blah blah. The uh, the starting price is like 10 diamonds or something. Yeah, it seems fine. Although I pretty, I'm pretty sure we only like need one room. We don't need like a floor plan, but... And it's fine, we can do something a little bit more fancy. Like a big, bigger building at spawn. Because as of right now, I think the biggest building at spawn is still my flower shop. And that has been there forever. It's the longest running <laughs> shop at spawn here. Anyways, that's going to be it for today. Have a good one. Bye bye, take care, thanks for watching. Yada yada yada.